And now we're here in Westbrook, Connecticut on Route 1, Jim Masters Connecticut Perspective TV. And it's time for some Cajun Creole and all kinds of good food at New Orleans Creative Cooking. I'm so hungry. Wait till you see the goodies we're going to enjoy. But if you follow me over here, there's somebody waiting to welcome us. And it's Hi, Jim. good How to are see you. you. I've seen you. Thanks for inviting us to the restaurant. You're Beautiful welcome. place You're we welcome. have here in Westbrook. You welcome to my house. We're going to go in the cook kitchen and start cooking? Yeah, absolutely. Let's, Let's do go. that. Here we go. Now we're behind the scenes in the kitchen with Sunil and AJ. And what are you going to make for us, guys? We are going to make for you two traditional items with a little twist. One is a seafood puff pastry. It's got shrimp, scallops, crawfish tail meat, broccoli, inside a puff pastry with a lobster sauce. Sounds very good. And the second one is pan blackened scallops with the southwestern barbecue sauce, egg balsamic on top. Of a craft uh, on top of a lobster curry sauce. Fantastic. Sounds good, doesn't it? I'm hungry already. Let's get to it. Let's start. <laughs> get it nice and hot with a little olive oil. Add the shrimp to it. And as soon as the shrimp starts to turn a little pinkish, yeah. you add the scallops to it. Very good. And as soon as the scallops start to get a little color, you add the sauce to it, the lobster sauce to it. You got me so hungry already here. <laughs> good, I hope you brought your appetite. Absolutely. So what stage are we at now? We are almost at the plating stage. Oh, the plating stage. And you finish it off with broccoli and crawfish tail meat. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> Cover this and then finish it off with a little olive oil. So we're at the stage where we're blackening the scallops. Yeah. How long do you do this for, AJ? It takes three and a half or two, four minutes. Sounds uh, good. For yeah. that. Looks good already. Yeah, thank you. Wasabi mashed potato. What he's going to put on top now is a lobster curry sauce. A bit of our Indian roots at the same time. Doing stuff that's well known to us. It's like almost like an Indian French Nouvelle. Mm -hmm. Southwest barbecue sauce. And then right after that, Right after that. That's the balsamic, uh, aged balsamic. Oh, look at this, folks, huh? The completed plated dishes. Good job, guys, Sunil. Thank, Thank you. Black huh? chicken. Thank you. Welcome. Etouffee. Why do you love this restaurant? What's your perspective about it? has got just such a homey feel to it. Doesn't it? And the food is fantastic. And now I'm in the dining room here at New Orleans Creative Cooking in Westbrook, Connecticut. Neil, when you had the idea of putting together a restaurant like this that emphasizes Cajun and Creole cooking and more, uh, why here in Westbrook? We didn't want to go into the regular... Burgers, fries... Yeah, the regular stuff. You could get that anywhere. So we wanted to be a little different and do something different. And in my opinion, New Orleans restaurant is the original cuisine of the United States. Because everything else, Italian, the Italians came, the French, the French brought their influence. But in New Orleans, it's an influence of the Spanish, the French, the Africans. It's it's a mixture of variety everything. Variety of everything. Variety right? of everything. And it it's such a fun concept. We're everyday casuals with a little twist. Yeah. Like these two. Yeah. Uh, with a, like this. You know, what do we have in front of us here? Look at this that. here is a traditional crawfish etouffee made with a brown roux and really? served with the uh, white rice. This is what we made in the kitchen before, right? Yeah, this here is a seafood puff. It's a, it's a lobster crawfish sauce with shrimp, scallops, crayfish, and broccoli mm. on a puff pastry. And? This here yeah. is a shrimp jambalaya. And what gives this a little heat is the andouille sausage uh, in it. That's what it is, yeah. But with the olives, it kind of counterbalances out, it takes a little punch off. That here? one over there is blackened scallops in a lobster it's curry sauce. Kitchen too, yeah. Yep. With wasabi mashed potatoes. You got this great dessert, this one we made in the kitchen, right? Yep. Tell us again about this. This is a traditional fare in New Orleans, beignets. Mm. What we did is we got the regular beignets, but we also made the chocolate beignets. Full restaurant, bar, Full rest lots of yeah, activity absolutely. going on, nice happy hour um, going on. We just put in about 17 micro brews in the bar. Oh, did you? And, yep. And these are, uh, these are small handcrafted breweries from around the United States. And we wish you great success here at New Orleans. Mm. Thank you. Fantastic Thank restaurant. You. And congratulations on 25 years. Thank you. But what's your perspective about it? I love the food. Yeah. love spicy food. Yeah. Staff is very friendly. 
and I run into old friends. Well, honestly, we're addicted to it. My yeah. wife and I both, uh, every week, uh, bring a meal yeah. uh, home, actually, from here. And uh, we love everything. Our intent is, is we try everything. And uh, it just reminds me a bit of living in New Orleans. It's, yeah. it's very, very excellent food. Oh, you're still here? Well, the crew has left. They left the camera and the light here, and I'm still here eating all this great food in New Orleans. Great at cooking in Westbrook. Cleared out that plate and that plate and that plate and that plate, working on this plate. It's that good.